Hello, thanks for joining me again. I'm not sure what part we're on. Is it part four, part five? I don't know. I've still got lots and lots of shout outs to do. You may notice that um, I've lost some of my audience. My huggable Henrys and Hetties have had to go out of harm's way because Daisy was really wanting to chew them to bits and she was whining all the time. So they're asleep now and Daisy is asleep on her bed. So hopefully, we'll have no more interruptions. So let's get straight down to the first shout out of this video. This is for Max and Ira. And it says here, Max and Ira love your channel and have for some time. Big brother Max, who loves taking them apart and reassembling them, turned little brother Ira onto vacuums via your channel. Deary me, big brother teaching little brother about vacuums. The irony is that as a baby, Max was terrified of vacuums until we found your channel. They are avid shark duo clean fans and Max received the shark robot for his birthday. I'm assuming possibly you're in America then because we don't have the shark robot in England at the moment. Anyway, thank you for helping my son overcome his vacuum fear and the battles of one more mess test. Happy holidays to you and yours. That's for Megan. So hello, Max and Ira. Happy holidays to you too. Now we have Joey here, picture of Joey hiding behind part of his vacuum collection. Joey is four and is from Ohio, USA. Ohio, the birthplace of Hoover, isn't it? North Canton, Ohio, where Hoover started making the first vacuum cleaners. Wow, sadly not anymore. I wonder if you've been to the Hoover Historical Center. I don't know how far away North Canton is from you. Anyway, this is Joey, he's four. He loves your channel and has loved vacuums for as long as we can remember. All he is asking for Christmas is a Dyson. We got a puppy last week and he asked to name him after you. Well, after me, what, a puppy called Roger or Ibasiac? Oh dear. Can't th I can't think of anything worse than naming a puppy after me. But anyway, that's uh, it's nice though. I'm sure you haven't called your puppy Roger or Ibasiac. So there we go. Let's have a look at the vacuums that Joey has got. He's hiding behind the sofa there. I can see, I can see a Bissell. I think there's a Hoover right in the background, a Bissell. Um, another Hoover, bagless. It's probably a, a wind tunnel. Oh, there's a shark rocket there. And that looks like, is a Eureka in the front of the picture. We had that similar model, but it was called an Electrolux in the UK, that one. Anyway, happy Christmas, Joey. This is a picture of Arthur. We've got the name, Arthur. Arthur is four years old. Hello, my son absolutely loves your channel. Arthur is four and he's been obsessed with vacuums since he was about 18 months old. That's when I started, 18 months, according to my mum. He loves to visit Curry's to try out the ones on display. He has a Vax Platinum Power Max for his birthday and has spent many a happy hour cleaning our carpets as well as relatives. Oh, I bet your relatives love it. Getting their carpets cleaned for free. He even made some demonstration videos and we did a big mess test. He would be so happy to get a mention. Thanks, Merry Christmas. So, hello, Arthur. I can see you there. I'm not surprised you've got your ear defenders on because that's a noisy carpet washer, but it's very effective. So, ooh, you're a very good boy, aren't you? Cleaning all your relatives' carpets. I bet you like to show them all the dirt that it's removed, don't you? Anyway. Happy Christmas to you. Next we have three-year-old Ethan here and he has more than 10 toy vacuums. His four-year-old brother Evan can only play with the vacuums if Ethan is recording a video of the unboxing and demonstration. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year from us here in Canada. We look forward to watching lots more vacuum videos. Bye for now. That's from Jordan, Daddy Jordan. So hello, Ethan, and if you're watching, hello, Evan. Look at that lovely collection. You've got nearly every toy vacuum there. Perhaps Santa might be bringing you another one. You've even got, oh, you're lucky, you've even got the, the new cordless 
toy Dyson, haven't you? Wow. Well, I'm sure there's always room for more, isn't there? Hopefully Santa will fit one on his sleigh. So happy Christmas to you all there in Canada. This is Jericho. He's almost five. And we have Beeb watching your channel. I'm not sure if that's a spelling mistake. And we have Beeb watching your channel every day. He's getting a Toy Henry for Christmas. It's all he talks about. He loves the Dysons too. He has sensory issues and hates loud noises, but is but he's facing his fears with his love of vacuums. Thanks so much. Merry Christmas. Well, even I, Jericho, some vacuums are very loud. Even I have to put ear defenders on. But they're getting quieter, aren't they? You can get some much quieter vacuums. So, yes, can be a bit frightening, can't it? Some noises can be a bit frightening, especially if they're sort of sudden noises. But normally they're nothing to be frightened of. And certainly a noisy vacuum, although can be pretty annoying, is nothing to be frightened of. Anyway, I'm sure you're going to enjoy whatever Santa brings you on Christmas Day. So, happy Christmas to you, Jericho. Right, this is Bennett, and he's only two. He loves vacuums and watches my channel all the time. He enjoys exploring the different parts and how they fit together. Well, it's better than Lego, isn't it? And he'll explain to anyone who will listen watch what each tool is and what it does. I was like that to the point of people would get fed up with me going on and on about vacuums. Never mind. I think it's awesome you're doing this for your young fans. Thank you. I know it'll mean the world to Ben. So you're Ben or Bennett. Perhaps if you're naughty, you're Bennett. And if you're a good boy, you're Ben. Is that right? Anyway, what are you doing in that picture? Ben, let's have a look. We've got we've got a nozzle of some sort of vacuum. Can't really tell what it is. I'm sure you're having fun with it. Have you got a play kitchen as well? Wow. Looks a bit messy there. You've got to tidy that up. Santa won't Santa won't deliver anything to a messy messy playroom, will he? If your toys are out, you need to get those tidied up before you go to bed. Happy Christmas to you, Ben, and to all your family. Here we have Alfred. He's three and he's got a lovely Henry cap on and he's looking at some pictures of some Henry and Hetty's by the looks of it in that photograph. We love your videos and have become a huge shark fan as a result. I think this is Alfred's mummy, Emma. Alfred loves Henry and friends most of all, inspiring us all at nursery with his passion. They are all huge pneumatic fans as a result. Every morning, he runs into the front room to see if Santa has brought him his cordless Dyson. Well, Santa, he won't be there until Christmas Eve, Alfred. And as I said before, he'll only be there if you're fast asleep. So on Christmas Day, when you run into your front room, then you might see what you're looking for from Santa. Well, I hope you get it. I hope you do. I'm sure you will. So <laughs> your mummy says you won't stay still for a picture of yourself with all your vacuums and cleaning related toys. So we've just got a picture of you wearing your Henry hat that you have to reluctantly take off when you go to bed. Well, I'm sure as soon as you get out of bed, it's straight back on your head, isn't it? You'll have to get another one at some point if you've, you haven't got to more than one because it might get a bit worn out if you keep wearing it all the time. You don't need it on in bed, really, do you? Thank you for your videos. He loves you so much and wants to go to your house and see your vacuums. Love from the Fowlers. So happy Christmas, Alfred. Don't forget, run into your front room on Christmas Day. That's when Santa will have delivered some lovely presents for you and the rest of your family, hopefully. Right. Oh, I've got a picture. Let's see. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. Edward doing his mess test. Oh, I've got a random picture. I'll have to try and include that. This is for Edward. I think I've shouted out Edward earlier. Let's carry on. Well, we've got a picture here. Again, I don't know this little boy's name, but he's from Brazil. We're getting lots of different countries mentioned today, aren't we? He loves Henry. So you can get a Henry in Brazil. I didn't know that. So this is you. I'm sorry. Looks like uh, your mummy's called Viv Vivian, is it? 
So, um, hello to you. Can't, I can't say your name, I'm afraid. This is Asher. Asher is three and loves vacuums. His dad repairs them. So after dinner, most nights, that is their evening activity. We all enjoy watching your videos. Asher especially likes the pneumatics. For his birthday, he insisted on a Henry vacuum cake. Being that we are in America, not too many people knew what he was talking about. He did get the Henry cake though. He would be so excited to get a shout out. Well, hello Asher. Must be great having a dad that repairs vacuums. And I bet you're learning an awful lot, aren't you? Maybe you'll get to repair them on your own one day. I can see you there. You've got a Fisher Price. I can see that Fisher Price toy vacuum and your Henry's and you've got Dyson toys, haven't you? Is that a Minnie Mouse one as well? I can see in the background. Can't see two of them because you're, you're sat in front of them. Anyway, happy Christmas. Hope you get something nice from Santa. Oh, look at this picture of Caleb, who's four. And have we got another picture? Yes, Rene. Okay, you know, look at those fantastic Hetty and Henry pajamas with their names on them. That's brilliant. They're both obsessed with Henry, Hetty, and the gang. Both enjoy your videos more. More so, Caleb, who is autistic. Your videos along with Lego are the only two things that keep his attention for any length of time. Keep up the good work and have a Merry Christmas. So you like Lego? I, I, can, I can bet, Caleb, that you use your Lego to make vacuums. Do you, do you make, build your own little vacuums with Lego? I bet you do. I'm sure I did. I had lots of Lego. I did that. And Play-Doh as well. Anything you can make vacuums out of, you can make, <laughs> you can make them. So happy Christmas to you both, Caleb and Rene. This is Rowan. Hello. Oh, hang on. <laughs> My Siri has just come on when I said that. Hello, Rowan. Stood next to, is that, I think that's your, that's your granny. Your granny has a Miele S7. I hope it's not too heavy for her. Hello, Rowan. Here he is. He has loved Hoovers for as long as he's been able to talk and has a large collection including a Henry James, Toy Henry and Hetty, Huggable Hetty and a Toy Dyson. His favourite Hoover is his Granny's Miele S7. <laughs> I think that's right, forgive me if not. He's the expert, not me. The picture is of Rowan with the uh, Miele plus friends. Have a very Merry Christmas. Oh yes, I can see Huggable Hetty having a ride on the Miele there, look. There's a few other. Oh, there's a. Uh, is that? I don't. I'm not very into. It, I don't really know much about children's uh, films, but I think is that Nemo from Finding Nemo, just in the handle there. Is it? I can't see what. There's another. There's two other eyes peering out there. I can't see what they are. <laughs> anyway. Happy Christmas, Rowan. I hope you enjoy using your your granny's lovely S7 there. Well, here we have another little boy showing off his collection and an American from Texas. Let's see. My little man, uh, oh good, Zian. Like Ian with a Z. Well, we say Z. You say Z, don't you, in America. So Zian, I hope I've, I hope I've said that right. My little man, Zian like Ian with a Z, just turned three. We just moved to Texas and he was upset because we did not take Mama's water vacuum or Daddy's blue vacuum. But as soon as we bought a new TV, we looked up his favorite vacuum enthusiast and he settled right in. He has been a big fan since he was 1.5 years old. Thank you for sharing your passion. We watch at least one video a day. It won't be long before he's making his own. He was practicing this evening. There he is, look. Um, well, I can see a toy Dyson there. Another toy. I, I don't know what that uh, yellow one is. I can't really see. It might be a Eureka. And I can't see... Oh, is it another Eureka that you're holding there, Zian? Not sure. Anyway, I'm sure you'll have a, a huge collection before too long. And you'll soon be on YouTube. Now, 
this little boy, I'm sure I've said hello to him before. I might have even said birthday wishes uh, to Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Oh, yes, I made him a birthday video when he was five or six, says his daddy, Michael. And he's now seven and he's still obsessed with vacuums. Well, even when you're 70, Thomas, you probably will be obsessed with vacuums. You don't lose it. <laughs> Here's a picture. Giving the thumbs up here. Thomas giving the thumbs up there. No vacuums, but I'm sure you've got plenty, Thomas, haven't you? Happy Christmas. Another shout out for Joshua, who lives in Maryland, USA, and you're three. Joshua watches my channel every day. We have to visit the vacuum section anytime with a visit to a store that sells them. Yes, I'm sure a lot of parents watching can relate to that. Everyone gets a kick out of how much he loves vacuums. He started out being terrified of vacuums, but after I watched a few review videos f for my own purchasing knowledge, he became hooked. His favorite vacuums are Shark Rockets with Duo Clean, although he has a special place in his heart for our old trusty Bissell Power Force. Don't ever get rid of that. Because I know from experience and from other people who have commented, other collectors, that they have fond memories of the, the vacuum that they remember their mum having, you know, from an early age. So even if it, you know, goes to the big vacuum place in the sky, keep it. I said, I don't, I don't think Joshua would want you to get rid of it. I bet he'd be mortified if he came home and found it, you'd taken it to the dump. So, it says here that Joshua's been watching my channel for at least a year and a half now. Happy Christmas to you, Joshua, from Maryland, USA. Another American boy here. This is Logan. He's been a huge fan of iBasic for five years. He's 10 now. He would love a shout out. So hello, Logan. He's loved and collecting vacuums since two. You must have loads then. You make him laugh and you teach him things he never knew. Uh, when I went on holiday in the Netherlands, he wanted a vacuum from there. We call it Dutchy. Pictures and video in comments, please take a look. Let's have it. I can't show the video, unfortunately, on this video. Don't know how to. But here's some pictures. Let's have a look. There's some. Try and make out what they are. Well, there's a Dyson there. You can see a Dyson. There's a carpet sweeper. You can certainly see a shark or two. Uh, more Dysons. I don't know if that's a Mila swing, is it? Oh, I'm not sure. What's that Miele stick? No, I don't don't know. It's hard to tell from that picture. Anyway, you can all look at this picture. Oh, there's the. Is that a Nito? I, I wanted a Nito. I want to try a Nito. Here's a picture. There we go. Fancy having a fancy having a Dutch vacuum cleaner in America. Here's another picture of Logan. Oh, that is a Nito. There he is with his Nito. Looks like he got his Nito for Christmas. How lucky you are to have a Nito. And there he is giving the thumbs up. I'm not sure what he's doing in that picture. Oh, and this, this is this the picture of the shop in Holland, is it? I think it possibly could be. Lots of pictures there. Oh, and another one. You've got a Samsung robot as well. Wow. You've got more robotic vacuums than I've got. Wow, that's fantastic. He also makes at home vacuums out of trash. Oh, it is, that, that picture I showed you, I'll put it up again. That is the vacuum store in the Netherlands. I can see that Electrolux, obviously. It's a bit hard to make out all the cleaners in that picture. Certainly some Electroluxes. Uh, possibly some Mila's there. Yes, there's Mila's definitely. So happy Christmas. Next, another 10 year old boy we have, Jeremiah. Jeremiah would love a shout out, says his uh, mum, Rachel. He has loved vacuums since he was a toddler. He has asked Santa for vacuums almost every year. He is also quite a good vacuum repair and has his own workshop in the garage. He fixes all of our neighbors' vacuums. His collection contains over 50 vacuums and he likes older ones if he can find them. He loves watching your videos and looks forward to the month of December every year. And there's a picture. Scroll up, there's a picture of Jeremiah. Try and zoom in. 
let's see what I can see. Well, that looks like a Hoover Spirit is holding the handle too. I can see a port of power there. Oh, is that a Hitachi? Just down there as well. It's an old, a very old Hoover right on the far end. Some Dysons. Lots of vacuums there. Fantastic collection. Happy Christmas. Here we have Lucas. Lucas has 14 real vacuums and seven toy ones. He chose to take his five-year-old portraits, as you can see here, with his favorite Dyson small ball. He's autistic and has to wear headphones while vacuuming, but still loves them. He watches videos and learns how to take them apart and clean them and puts them back together. He would love a shout out from you. Happy holidays, thanks. Happy holidays to you, your family, Happy holidays, Lucas. Look at him there with his very proud, with his Dyson small ball. I bet they thought that was a little bit strange <laughs> to go to the to go to the photographic photograph photographic studio to have your portrait taken and you bring your vacuum. If I had my portrait taken though at your age, I probably would have wanted to take a vacuum as well. This little boy. Is for and or how do you pronounce this? Is it Kian? Kian Gillett? I hope I've pronounced that right. This is what you look like anyway. You know what you look like. <laughs> I'm just showing this to everyone watching the video. You've got a couple of toy vacuums there, two toy Dysons. Anyway, he has Henry Hetty Dyson Ball and Dyson DC14 and Cordless. He watches your videos all day. Merry Christmas, Roger. Thank you, Nicola. Merry Christmas to you. And to Kian. Next shout out with no picture, but this is a shout out to Ryan, who will be six on Wednesdays. Not sure if I've mentioned. I've mentioned to Ryan. Is this the same Ryan? I don't know. I'll read it out anyway. He's been watching your videos and loves everything about vacuum cleaners. I have to take him to Curry's so he can have a play with theirs. He is particularly, oh, he particularly loves Dysons and he knows the names of them all. Thank you. So happy, uh, well, happy Christmas and also happy belated birthday to you, Ryan, who has just turned six years old. This little boy is three years old and he's called Zach. Zach loves your channel. His favorite at the moment is the Vax Air, where you hold the vacuum up in one hand. Can't remember that. <laughs> Must be an old one. Zach loves cleaning our house with our Dyson DC40 and the Play Hetty from Kasdan. We love you. Oh, thank you very much. There he is with, uh, oh, he's got one of those little desk um, Henry's, the Union Jack model. So happy Christmas to you, Zach. Now, what's this a picture of? It's hard to tell. Let's have a look. Well, I'll read what it says above this picture. Hi, my son Jack would absolutely love a shout out from you. He is six and is mad about vacuums of all descriptions. His favourites are Henry, Dyson and Shark. Jack has a Hen... Oh, it's a he oh, it's an advent calendar. That's what we're looking at. Jack has a Henry advent calendar, pick below. And his choice of Cuddle Buddy on his first ever Beavers sleepover a few weeks ago was Henry. Oh, pick to follow. If I've got the pick, I'll put it up now. We watch your channel every day and the advent videos are a big favourite all year round. Many thanks. Oh, I'm not sure if we've got the pic to follow. Oh dear. Never mind. If I see it, I'll... Oh. Well, if I see it later, I'll put it in the video. But, um, we've only got one picture of the advent calendar, but that's very good. Oh, right. <laughs> Tony is explaining that it's the the picture is taken in front of the living room wall, not the local underpass. Yes, looking at it, it does look like your living room wall has been graffitied somewhat, but I expect the that's the, that's the uh, look you went for. Anyway, you didn't have to explain that to me. I didn't really notice. I was too busy looking at the advent calendar. Anyway, happy Christmas to you, Jack. That's a fantastic advent calendar you've got there. Right, here we have a picture of Elliot, who's four, Elliot Thornley, who's four and a huge fan of mine. He has learnt so much from you and never stops talking about vacuum cleaners. 
Everywhere he goes, including shops, motels, and friends' houses, the first thing he wants to know is what sort of vacuum cleaner they have. Yes, another one. People are surprised when he shows and tells them things about the cleaners that they didn't realize. Yeah, I can relate to that as well. Recently, he saw just a small bit of hose and handle in the back of a shop and told the assistant that he noticed that she has has a hoover. Her reaction was, really? I don't know what sort it is. She went and looked and sure enough, it was a hoover. She was shocked that he could tell the brand just from the small piece of hose and handle that he could see. He even tells people he is obsessed with vacuum cleaners and is very proud of it. If he cannot get his hands on a real vacuum, he will make one out of anything he can find. On his wish list for Christmas is more vacuum cleaners and accessory kits for the cleaners he has. Thanks also for last year's shout out. It was a huge surprise for Elliot. Oh, you've got a second shout out, Elliot. Happy Christmas to you. And is that an elect? What is that? I think I think that's an Electrolux you pictured with. Oh no, I didn't notice that Dyson cordless there. And a filter queen. Another little boy here with a huge Kirby is Jamie, who's four. Oh, that's his grandpa's Kirby. Jamie loves your videos, especially the muddy footprints from Santa. Well, I've told Santa to wipe his feet this year because I'm not happy about him leaving all that mess. He probably won't take any notice, but then I'll forgive him because he does have a lot of vacuums and stuff to carry. So I'll forgive that he doesn't wipe his feet. Perhaps I could set Roomba going for Christmas Day because it's still vacuum of the month. So when I come down, Roomba's cleared up all the mess, perhaps. Or perhaps I'll leave it and clear it out myself. What do you think? I'll leave it. Right, another. This is, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Emil, is it? Oh, hang on, forgot the picture. Right. I don't think I've said hello to Emil yet, so I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Emil. Um, forgot the picture, here it is. Emil also wanted to give, oh, there must have been some other comment. It's funny on Facebook, uh, it's not, doesn't seem to be very well ordered, this. Um, Emil wanted to give you a little help pronouncing German words. Uh, Wieselwerk is spoken as if you wrote Wesselwerk. Wesselwerk. Oh, Wes, Wessel, I'm trying to, I always pronounce these German names wrong. Uh, Wesselwerk. Work. Or is it vessel work? Staubsauger. You say, you say Staubsauger. Please don't say our last name in the shout out. Well, I haven't. Thank you so much for your videos about vacuum cleaners. Stau Staubsauger. Staubsauger. Do I say Stau? Oh, I don't have to say that often. It's German for vacuum cleaner anyway. Assume, assume you're from Germany then. Thank you very much for all your videos about vacuum cleaners. We've learnt so much and also learnt to share Emil's enthusiasm when it comes to vacuum cleaners. And sorry for our maybe bad English as it's not our mother tongue. Oh, it's sorry, you're from Austria. Terribly sorry for saying German. <laughs> Germany. <gasps> you're Austrian. Greetings from Austria and have a wonderful Christmas. All the best from Emil and family and there. Wow, are you, look, look at this, look at all this montage of vacuums, wow. Some lovely hoovers there. It's a Hoover Senior, don't know what that uh, one is, third on the top, third from the right. Um, you've got a Blue James, I can see there. That's a lovely collection. You're somewhere very picturesque in that picture. Reminds me of the sound of music. Oh, sorry, look, here it is. The comment I've just read out was above your first comment. Oh dear. Anyway, Emil is three. He wished there was a museum for vacuum cleaners where you can also try them out. Well, there is, but it's in um, America. Oh, I've forgotten where it is. Someone will have to comment below, but there is a vacuum museum where you can try them out. Um, I've seen vacuums in museums, but they're normally behind glass, aren't they? You can't touch them. Oh dear, we've I've got lots here. So I've read the I've read the first bit, the second bit first. I've read it wrong, but it's how it's appeared, I'm afraid. So, Emil wants to make his own museum. 
I don't know. Namil is now six and he has 32 fully functioning vacuums, which you can see in the picture. All right, I can read out what these vacuums are now. The LG Hom Hombot Volta, a no name car vacuum, world's first one to switch from 12 to 220 volts. Oh, I don't think that was intended, possibly. I can't pronounce that um, Russian make. Rak, Rak Gemma. 7M2, it's Russian. Progress, Slalom Cherry, a white Progress, a Progress Minor, GH. Electrolux Z16, which is 80 years old and in his oldest cleaner. Effie Shampoo, two different models of Siemens Rapid, Hoover Senior and Hoover Junior from the Swedish Green Series. A grey Hoover, a Fakir A90. Oof. A Pneumatic James. Vorwer, which is pronounced, oh, Vorver, Vor, I'll still get it wrong. Vorwerk, Vorwerk, Cobold, uh, VK119, Famulus 600, Ellen HSSO9, Philips Compact 950, AEG Ergo Rapido, Houseboy, A Riley <laughs> Super Export, which is made in Australia, Dirt Austria, sorry, <laughs> Dirt Devil Rebel 25, Dirt Devil Popster, Electrolux Claro, Clario, TCM Airbox, an Ash Vacuum Progress B152B, made in Britain, EIO Compact is the same as Morphe Richard, Siemens Q4.0 Green Power Energy, and finally Privilege 6 Filter System, which is not true. We've had it open and found only two litres. Ooh. Two filters, sorry. Oh, when they say six filters, they can possibly including the filters, the layers of the dust bag. So it's possible that the dust bag has four layers. So they count that in sometimes. So, so sorry, that got all a bit confused. I hope everyone understood that. So anyway, happy Christmas to um, Emil. Again, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. This is a shout out for Edward, who's seven. He's loved vacuums since he was two. He has 16 different toy vacuums and his, and his birthday, and his, this birthday, sorry, he saved all his money to buy himself a real Henry 160. His idea of a treat is to go to shops that will let you try out vacuums. We spot cleaners wherever we go. He loves watching your videos, thank you. Happy Christmas to you, Edward. Again, hopefully you'll get something vacuum related for Christmas Day. Here's a picture of Matthew. And I assume this is his uh, mum writing this. This is Matthew. He's the best kid in the entire world and has been dedicated to your videos for over a year now and watches them every single day. Giving him a shout out would be like infinity Christmas to him. If you decide to include him, well, of course, I'm trying not to miss anyone out. If you decide to include him, he's from Double Oak in Texas. Loves vacuums and is not a fan of Roombas. It's a joke between all of us, so this would be the icing if you mention his... What's wrong with Roombas? Matthew, what's wrong with Roombas? Don't you like Roombas? They're okay. I mean, they don't deep clean, but they're quite fun to watch. Uh, as long as they don't run over your, you know problem I had with my Daisy when she you know I said in an earlier video that's when I didn't really like Roomba but I quite like Roomba I expect you like vacuuming and you don't want a robot doing it for you is that why you don't like them anyway you might get to like them one day so we love you Matthew loves you thank you very much um, and we would so love a shout out thank you for all you do and look at Matthew there is that he's got his tablet I think you're on a tablet there, Matthew, aren't you? Possibly watching one of my videos, maybe? Or at least a vacuum video. So happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you, Matthew. And try and try and get to like Roombas. They're not as bad as you might think. Now a shout out. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Another, I'm afraid, another uh, mum, I think, that uh, hasn't given me the name of the child you want to me to say hello to your child so anyway i'll read what you've put uh, sandra alexander my son will oh sorry i've got all that naughty naughty mr ibasic you have i have put sorry i didn't see that 
I've been sat here for quite some time. <laughs> Sorry, Sandra. My son, Will, loves your videos and has been watching your Advent videos every morning here in Tasmania. He recently got a Henry vacuum for his birthday, which he loves. Thanks. Sorry about that, Sandra. Happy Christmas to you, Sandra. And of course, happy Christmas to you, Will, from Tasmania. This is a shout out to Evan, who's four. He loves watching your videos. He especially loves the Advent videos and any video featuring Daisy. We live in Melbourne, Australia. He got a vacuum for his birthday to add to his collection and Santa is bringing him... <laughs> Thank you for your videos, they are brilliant. I'm not saying what Santa's bringing Evan, I'm not giving the game away. Anyway, happy Christmas to Evan from Melbourne, Australia. Here we have somebody with a lovely, lovely Henry cake. This is, I think, anyways, yes, I say, I think this little boy's called Oscar because it says that on the cake, doesn't it? Good morning. Please could you say hello to Oscar? He's vacuum cleaner obsessed. He tells his teachers about filter maintenance. <laughs> He's teaching the teachers something, isn't he? When he grows up, he wants to be a designer for pneumatic and bring back their older machines with added features. He has his very own Hetty Compact, which he got for which he got for a whole year of good behaviour. She lives in his room and he puts her back into her box every night. Thank you, have a lovely Christmas. Well, that's worth being good for, isn't it? If you're good all year, you get a Hetty. Think on, children watching. If you're good all year, you get rewarded. You won't necessarily get a Hetty, but you might get some other vacuum you quite like. So there's Oscar. Look, that cake is fantastic. See a lot. I see a lot of uh, Henry cakes. Seems a shame to cut into them, doesn't it? But at least you got a photograph of it there. This. Oh dear. Now this is. Hang on. <laughs> Again, I've got a random picture, so we'll. I'll have to come back to that. It's uh, of a little boy looking at some Vax carpet washers. Hang on. Oh dear, it's all it's all going a bit uh, a bit wrong because I'm just just getting random pictures and no sort of things. Anyway, the next actual shout out is for five year old Brandon who is crazy about vacuums. He loves watching your videos and doing his own unboxing. He's done his own videos on how to remove and clean the filters on my shark lift away. I get tired of arguing with him that he can't have a bag of filth. But his answer is always, but Roger has one. Well, yes, Brandon, just because I've got a bag of filth, you, it's not a very nice thing to have, a bag of filth. I have to have several bags of filth in order to make my carpets dirty to show the vacuums working. But they get to smell a bit after a while. I've got, in, at the moment, I've got 11 bags of filth in my garage that I've saved up all year for my um, Vacuum of the Month series. You'll be seeing those in January, well, 12 by then. And they, ooh, they smell. I'm gonna have to throw them away when I've uh, finished with them. So no, probably best not to have a bag of filth, to be honest. Anyway, <laughs> for Christmas, Brandon has asked for a Henry Cordless, wow, and the new Dyson handheld by Kasdan. A shout out from you would make his year. As for me, as the mum of the child with the unusual hobby, it's nice for him to see that although his friends may not share his love for vacuums, there are other people out there who do, and he isn't alone. Keep up the good work and Merry Christmas to you and your family. We've got a little montage here. Look at that, look at those. I've seen some before. Halloween pumpkins. There's Henry and Hetty there. And he's tucked up in bed and it looks like, a, is that a little uh, Henry screen cleaner? A painting of Henry, look at all these toy vacuums. Wow, look at all that. Look at that Henry cake as well with the four Henrys on top and your face painted Henry. Wow. You've never, it's, I don't know if that's the pneumatic factory is it you've been to with that uh, the display or was that a cleaning exhibition with that display there? Wow, what a lucky boy. You're so lucky, Brandon. Yes, when I was growing up, I was the only one, 
The only one in my village, as they say, that liked vacuums and none of my school friends understood it at all. And it was only when I sort of got the internet that I realised oh, there are other people that like vacuum cleaners. I didn't think, I thought, no, there's nobody else that likes vacuums. But I suddenly found out that there was. And now, of course, with the internet and YouTube and everything and, and forums and groups on Facebook, there's lots and lots of people, old and young, who like vacuum cleaners and pro probably none of us can explain why i can't explain why i like vacuums and i'm sure a lot of you watching this now can't really explain why you can sort of reason it and say you like them for this that and that reason but why did you start liking them in the first place it's a mystery to most of us because most of us were as young as the children i'm talking to in these videos giving shout outs most of them started at a very young age just like i did so it's a little bit strange but there's nothing wrong with it and a lot of us get a lot of pleasure and fun. Some of us even make money from liking vacuums by repairing them or making YouTube videos about them. So, you know, you're not alone, obviously. You're watching this, you know, you, you can see if you watched all of these videos, you can see just this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, these are just the uh, shout out requests I've had on my Facebook page. But there's lots, lots of vacuum fans out there. Right, hang on. Do you think I've finished? Do you know, I might, I might have finished at last. I know this video, the final one. I didn't really want to go into another part. Um, I'm just going to quickly flip through because I'll be, uh, I won't be very happy if I've missed someone who's been looking forward to a shout out. It's just some of the things have popped up a bit randomly on, on Facebook. So uh, hopefully everyone has had a shout out that's uh, requested it. I'm just going to sort it again from newest this time and see if there's any that I haven't. No, I'm, I'm sorting the wrong post. There we go. Here we are. <laughs> newest. So it's been a bit of a marathon. I didn't really expect to have to shout out to so many people. I think the last shout out video I did last advent I, it was only one video, wasn't it? But obviously I've had a lot more requests this year. But you know, I'm quite happy to do it. But I'm just sorry for you that people have had to sit through and wait for your shout out. But hopefully you've enjoyed seeing the pictures of the young VAC fans and all, all the little collections they've got. And, and hearing their stories. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate. I certainly could as I was reading this. It's really touched me actually to read all these comments and I can just so relate to everything knowing what you know seeking out vacuum cleaners in house you know friends houses and relatives houses seeing a little bit of a vacuum and knowing what that vacuum was seeing a bit of a vacuum on telly and knowing what that vacuum was making people very bored where I constantly talk about vacuums telling people how to fix their vacuums or they've got to clean this and that and so even if you haven't had a shout out, I'm hoping that you've still enjoyed watching this little series of shout out videos because I've really, from the bottom of my heart, I'm getting quite emotional. I've really enjoyed doing it. It's really made, it's, I've got a really warm glow and it's not just because I've got a big light on me. I've got a really warm glow here, knowing that just me saying hello to, to some of the young vacuum fans as will really have made their day they'll be so excited and that to me is just i'm gonna cry silly boy it's really uh, puts it into perspective to me you know uh, i get some nasty people commenting and just doing this is what it's all about i mean i love doing this i love doing uh, my channel and the fact that i've got so many young vacuum enthusiasts who love watching my videos and it makes you know and i just think that that's possibly i've got a legacy now i know it's something I, i'd never thought i'd have i've i've made a difference to some people i'm part of of some you know when these little uh, vacuum fans grow up hopefully they'll have fond memories of watching me on youtube if i'm not there anymore if i'm not on youtube anymore you'll think back and think, oh, I really like that. That really helped me in, through certain, you know, I enjoyed watching the videos. And I've had comments from 
children's parents who've been ill or been in hospital and watching my videos has helped them. So it really, as I'm, I'm being so genuine from the bottom of my heart, it's, it's, um, it's what it's all about. It really is. Um, just, stop it. Anyway, this is just, just reading all these, you know. It just makes, makes me think it's really worthwhile doing this for, for everyone. So, dear me, don't get upset if you're watching because I'm, I'm, just, I'm just happy. I really am. I'm just touched. <laughs> I'm just trying. I don't want to miss anyone out. So I'm just quickly, quickly going through. Um, I've, I've embarrassed myself yet again. Never mind. Oh dear, I need to blow my nose. I think, I think I've got everyone. I think I have. Um, yes, I, I'm just a bit worried about these random pictures that popped up and they weren't actually under a post. So uh, I will try and do some more of these. As I said earlier, and it's going to be when, not if. When I reach 50,000 subscribers, which should be earlier next year, because I think I'm on 47, I'll do some more shout outs. So what I'd like to say to you, if you've had a shout out in the past, if you've just had a shout out or you've had one, don't request another one, not, not the next time, because then it gives a chance for me to, to shout out to people that haven't had one yet. You know, I, I love doing this, but it's, you know, as you've seen, it's gone on for several, I don't know how long it's gone on for. I'm going to be editing all this all night to make sure you see it tomorrow. But anyway, it's, it's been really fun shouting out, saying hello. And especially on the day, the day before Christmas Eve, where I'm sure you're all very excited about what Santa and your mummies and daddies may be bringing you. So... Have a lovely Christmas, all of you. I hope you get everything your heart desires and have a lovely time with your families and friends. And that's it. Sorry I got a bit soppy at the end. Couldn't help myself, but no point in editing that out. At least I haven't got any mascara to run, but anyway. No, I haven't resorted to putting mascara on. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for the final advent video on Christmas Eve, where we will see, well, I've given the game away, haven't I? Anyway, it's worth watching. There's a big mess test with Henry Hound there. I'll see you all very soon. This really is the end of this section of the shout out videos. There'll be no more videos today. So tune in same time tomorrow for the final advent video. Bye for now.